the book of John chapter 8 verse 32 and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free the Bible says once you know the truth of that Bible then that truth will make you free what is the truth how you doing my brother how you doing my brother hey I'm low size all right question do you believe in the Holy Bible so do you believe in the whole thing or just parts of it that are kind of shady to you what if, what you know you believe in 100% you said what I know it's been Okay, you know it's been tapping with, but you believe in a God. Okay, so if you, so for instance, the King James Version Bible, right? This Bible, give me Psalm 68 and verse 11. All right, so let me show you something about this Bible because the thing is, it's never been tampered with. And I can prove that to you today because my job is to what? Do you see yourself in this side, my brother? You consider yourself an American black or African American? Your father? What would this, what, what does this nation call you? You're an ethnic. Ethnicity. You say black? I'm just saying, my brother. I understand what you might, you may believe it higher than what they're saying, but what do they call you? Do they call you an African American? If you, that's what I'm saying. So that's what they called us, right? On this side, you see what they called us when they overtaken us and put us in slavery. American blacks, West Indies, that's going into what the Jamaicans, the Trinidadians, you know, Barbados, right? And then you have the Haitians. This is what the Puerto Ricans, this is what they called us, all these, I, I, you know, all these cans, that's what they called us when they conquered us, African-American, that's what they called us, right? But in the Bible, God has a specific name for these people, right? You see next to American blacks, you see the tribe of Judah. The tribe of Judah, right? Short for Jew. Jew is short, I mean, Jew and Judah are the same thing, right? So you're hearing the tribe of Judah is with the American blacks. Have you heard that you're a Jew before, my brother? Get Romans 3 and 1. Because the thing is, a lot of people may, you know, have you heard of the word Jew or Jewish? You heard that word before, right? But it doesn't hold significance to a lot of our people. We just hear the word. Do you know what it means to be a Jew, my brother? Let me show you how important it is to know that you're a Jew and why they don't want you to know that you're a Jew. Right. Read that. The book of Romans chapter three and verse one. Yep. What advantage then hath the Jew? So the Bible's talking about an advantage to, for being a Jew. Read. Or what profit is there of circumcision? Uh -huh. Much every way. God says in every possible way you can think of, it's advantage of being a Jew. Read. Chiefly. He says mainly, read. Because that unto them. Unto them, the Jews, the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, come on. Were committed the oracles of God. He says only they were committed the oracles of God. You know what the oracles of God is, my brother? The words of God, the promises of God, all the glory that God has given to the Jews, to his people, Amos 3 and 1. It's heavy that, that we have to know what it means to be a Jew or an Israelite because they don't want you calling yourself Jew. Because if you call yourself a Jew, they call that anti-Semitic. They call that hate speech. Because what? There's a so-called fake people over there claiming to be you, claiming to be us. Why? Because we just read God only claimed the oracles of God to the Jews. And now, every, now they treat the rest of the world like they're garbage. Read that. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel. So God right here is speaking to the children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right. the Jews of today. Come on. Against the whole family uh -huh. which I brought up from the land of Egypt saying you only he says you who you only you everybody you only come on have i known of all the families of the earth don't get distracted my brother come on. you only have i known uh -huh. of all the families of the earth so god just said i only know you children of israel out of all the families of the earth read therefore i will punish you for all your iniquity. Does this sound like God is punishing everyone for their iniquities or only the, the children of Israel for their iniquities? Only the children of Israel for their iniquity. So who are the children of Israel today? Deuteronomy 28 verse 16, 15. That's why I asked you that question at the beginning. Do you believe in this Bible? Because this Bible is full of facts. The reason why our people, the so-called Jews of today, have a cloudy sense of truths to this Bible is because of this man right here. Who is this man? 
they Jesus, right? right? But didn't they? So what happened in 1619? Didn't we learn their Jesus with whips and chains? Didn't we have an option to choose to believe in their Jesus or not? When we, huh? We didn't have it. We did not have an option. So 400 years later, what are, what is the bulk of our people believing in? This Jesus and what he represents. That's why when our people look at the Bible like, man, I don't trust it. Because when they came, they had a Bible too. They had a white image of Jesus. That's the whole reason why they want to keep us away. Because we're the true people of the Bible. And we're the only ones who can bring up this understanding. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So we're in the book of Deuteronomy. God is speaking to a specific group of people who says, if you don't hearken, means to listen, to the words of God, who is he speaking to right here? Let's get that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So the book of Deuteronomy is written to who? All of Israel, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Do you see the Chinese man in there? Do you see the East Indian man in there? You don't. Cause because God made 18 nations and he chose one. He didn't choose all of them, he chose one. That's why he says, I'm only gonna punish you. I'm only giving the oracles of God to the Jews. You gotta understand, Christianity, he teaches everyone's welcome. Right. He teaches everyone could be saved. Right. But the Bible has a way different message, my brother. Right. Read that. Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments. What was our main purpose as a nation of people? To do all of God's what? We, all his commandments. That was our main purpose in life, was to do his commandments. Watch, listen up, brother. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses. What will happen if we didn't keep God's commandments? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God says, I'm gonna put curses upon you Israelites and they will overtake you until you die, right? right? So is this world right now, that all the whole globe, is it keeping in God's commandments or are we breaking God's commandments? We're breaking God's commandments as a whole world, right? So by, by default, if curses of God are real, they will be on the people of Israel today. Right. Let's get some of these curses to identify who are the Israelites today. Read on. Verse 16. On. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. God says everywhere you populate, you're going to live in the cursed parts of the town. Right? So we look at Tallahassee, right? We have the north side of Tallahassee, and then we have the south side of Tallahassee. Which part of Tallahassee is the best part of town? It looks cleaner. The economy is better over there. Southwood, but what? The north side of town is better than what side of town? The south side. All right, who populates the majority of the south side of town? Black folks. Right. Who populates the north side? White folks. God said, cursed shall thou be what? Cursed shall thou be in the city. Why do we have a bunch of projects? We have hoods. We have people. We have murders. Drug dealings going on in our neighborhoods. That's not going on in their neighborhood. God says, you Israelites will be in the cursed part of the city. Verse 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. He says, as a curse, you're going to serve your enemy. Is this enemy a puff of smoke or is it actual people on this planet? The Bible's speaking up right here. It says enemy. People on this planet, right? Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. Now we're getting a clear sight of how come they came to the shores of the Native Americans. Why did they come and take us off the, um, where we at? Why they came and take us off the west coast of Africa. We were there and they came and got us. God said, who sent, he said, who? Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. Remember the first verse. God says, I'm gonna send enemies after you because we didn't want to keep all of his commandments right. as a nation. Read on. In hunger. So in hunger today for food, who do we have to go to? Do, the white man, right? Read on. And in thirst. If you want water or a water bill, who do we must go to? Or, but what does God call them in the Bible? Read the top. 
Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. He says, right, he says enemy. Because we don't want to serve him, I'm going to make you serve your enemy right. for food, for thirst. Read. And in nakedness. Even for the clothes on your back. Us black Hispanic men, we cannot produce the basic necessities for our own people. You have these nations like China. You have these places like India. They provide the water for their own people, their own women, their own children, their family. As men, as a, a black Hispanic Native Americans, we can't provide for our own race of people because God said it would be a curse. Why? Verse 43. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 43. Uh -huh. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee. There was a time, my brother, whether you believe it or not, that we rule this entire world. But that, they erased that history because our history starts when we look at February in 1619. The so quote unquote what? The uh, Black History Month. They start when we came here on slavery. They don't go before slavery. There's a reason for that. So you, you came here as slaves, you still slave, we released you niggas. Y'all do what y'all do to survive, right? That, but before then we ruled the world, but a curse says, all right, you read that again. The stranger that is within thee uh -huh. shall get up above thee very high. He says those, so those people who are uh, intermingled with us, the heathen are with us, they were on the bottom. He says those people who you see as nothing, they don't get up very high, read. And thou shalt come down very low. Now, where do we find our communities in this society? On the bottom, my brother. Yeah. And it's all because we didn't want to do what? Because we didn't want to keep God's commandments. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.